Since you were last with me, quite literally the only thing that's changed is the length of my beard. Hello and welcome to Club 4, episode 15 of The Pilgrimage. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, I've got two games for you. Um, in the EFL Championship, we're at home to Peterborough United, the league leaders, and then at home to Portsmouth. As I said in the introduction, we are picking up exactly where we left off. The only thing that's... Uh, that's changed is obviously we're now three days later but no games have been played so let's get straight into the uh, the first match against league leaders Peterborough and I will show you the lineup it is Boyce Clark in goal the back four of Godwin Malif, Williams, Bryan and Bristow Carter at the base of midfield Galdames and White ahead of him Sibley and Martin on the wings Camello up front let's submit the team and go and give the team talk Okay, well the assistant manager is recommending go out there and impress me. Um, yeah, I think that's probably about right. Uh, we'll pump the fists with that one. And let's send the boys out and try and uh, turn this ship around. So the match is underway. Uh, looking for any early signs of uh, which way the uh, match momentum is going. And it's Peterborough with the first shot and shot on target, so we'll demand more. It wasn't worthy of a highlight, so it obviously wasn't a massive uh, threat. And in fact, our shot off target has a higher XG, so that tells you everything. Right. Um, anything we need to be worried about at this stage? No. Um, Camello flicks it on, but it's... Uh, through to uh, Carl Jakob Hein, the uh, Peterborough goalkeeper, who launches it long. Brian heads it down, but uh, only gives it away. Harris is in here, and Mark Harris gives Peterborough the lead. And I think in uh, the space of 18 minutes, we have uh, kind of discovered why Peterborough are top of the league. They're very much playing on the counter-attack, and we have been suckered into that one. We are going to go attacking. I know that will kind of play into their hands even more. But we're behind. We don't have any alternative. We can't sit back and let them dictate the game. So let's try and get after them. Uh, we do have a corner. Josh Martin with it. It's uh, pinballs around the penalty area. Comes back to Martin. And I think we've got a free kick. We have. Okay. So goal line technology was invoked there. And we don't get to see what happened with the free kick. So it obviously amounted to absolutely nothing. Let's demand more again. Right. Sibley is going to have to come off at half time. As is Galdames. They're both having an absolute nightmare. And uh, we probably deserve to be level, but we certainly don't deserve to be winning. And in fact, I'm going to make one change at half time, but it's going to be neither of the, uh, in fact, no, two changes. But uh, it won't be the ones that we outlined a moment ago due to uh, fitness issues. So show me something else in the second half with no gestures. And let's uh, address those fitness concerns now. Um, who is... Uh, right, Ethan Bristow. So we need Key and Brian to go to left back. Ethan Bristow off. And uh, we'll bring on Gideon Young. And... We will change right back Godwin Malif for Dion Sanderson. 
and I think we'll leave the uh, the third change until later on in the second half so let's start the second half demand more and see if we can get back into the game as I say it's going to be a fitness related change the final one we just uh, have a number of players who could be uh, in need of coming off early and the ball's been given away there so Patterson has it Davis back to Patterson Davis on the overlap and infield Powell to Burrows we've won it back Camelo to Martin Galdanez gives the ball away Harris to Burrow, Sanderson's won it back, finds Camelo. He plays it to Carter, White goes back to uh, Boyce Clark, Young to Williams, Reese Williams comes forward, finds Galdanez, White to Sibley, Sanderson plays it diagonally through, Camelo blazes the chance over the crossbar when it looked easier to score. And I don't know what we're going to do at this stage. Right, Sibley plays it back to Sanderson. Sibley to Galdames. Carter to Young. Left to Brian. To Martin. Into Camelo. Back to White. White down the left wing. Crosses it in. Camelo is beaten to it and it's cleared. Harris to Powell for Peterborough, Powell down the uh, right wing, crosses for Burrows but uh, he's beaten to it, Galdames to Camelo, Carter gives the ball away, so sloppy at the moment, um, Jones comes forward down the right for Peterborough, back to wing and Eccles crosses, the header from Mark Harris makes it 2-0 and that's his second of the day and it's uh, almost certainly game over at this stage. Right, Sibley is going to be the one to come off. Um, we will bring on Eddie Salcedo. And we'll swap him and Josh Martin around. Josh Martin can play either side. So we'll swap those two around and hopefully the uh, the tired players can see us through. We have got a lot of uh, tired legs on the pitch today. Let's demand more. It's Galdanez to Carter. White back to Boyce Clark. Young goes back to Boyce Clark to Williams. Galdanez plays it wide but it's cut out. Wing over the top and Harris is in for a hat trick if it wasn't over before it is now although it's been disallowed he is offside we'll not bother with the replay of that one uh, Young with a free kick to Carter Camelo plays it to Salcedo on the left wing and it's a penalty who is on the penalty it's Camelo and Camelo cuts the deficit in half. We've got 25 minutes to try and find an equaliser. And it's a decent spot kick right in the corner. Keeper no chance. Let's demand more. Only because we're at home. I mean, I appreciate they are the league leaders. So a draw now would be a, a belting result from here, given that we were 2-0 down. We're going to demand more one more time. As soon as we get the opportunity to do so. We're into the last 10 minutes, so let's hit that demand more button now. Can we get one more chance to, uh, to gain an equaliser? Right, it's Hine with the goal kick. And Patterson flicks it on, but it will go all the way through to Boyce Clark. Boyce Clark to Brian. Down the left wing for Salcedo. Into Camelo. White plays it down the left side for Salcedo. But he's beaten to it. Eccles plays it forward to Jones. Back to Eccles. Inside to Smith. Back to Eccles again. 
to Jones to Patterson to Wing into the midfield Harris we've won it back Salcedo brings it forward finds Camello who hits the shot keeper is wise to it and it's cleared away for a throw in which Brian will take finds White back to Brian crosses into the middle and it's cleared Young picks up the loose ball but the highlight comes to an end judging by the XG I can't believe we've lost this game to be honest but we're going to unless something very very dramatic happens in the next four minutes we're going to demand more and I think we're seconds away from confirming the defeat there you go it ends Reading 1 Peterborough United 2 and I'll see you in a moment for the second match of today's episode Now for the second match of today's episode, the home match against Portsmouth, and the team for this one is much changed. It's uh, Collins in goal, back four of Bristow, Williams, Young, and Godwin Malif. Ali Musai at the base of midfield, Valera and Osorio ahead of him, Salcedo on the left, Sibley on the right, Camello up front. Let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. Okay, well the assistant manager is recommending I think we need to show everyone their recent praises justified, put on a real show. Given that we're in horrible form, I don't think that's um, that's appropriate. So we're going to um, point the finger and tell them we're sick and tired of getting bad results. Go out there and change that starting now. And that's motivated a few of them. It's left a Sorio unsure. So we'll have to keep an eye on him. But uh, other than that, I think we're good. So we'll uh, kick the match off and try and get the win. Okay, so the match is underway. And uh, the first highlight is a Portsmouth highlight. So let's uh, demand more. And it's uh, through on goal, but the keeper makes a save at the expense of a corner and it's uh, going to be Candido with the uh, outswinging corner the header is over the top and it ends the highlight right there so let's uh, await the uh, the next highlight and hope it's a reading one we need a win today very very badly I'm going to go attacking to try and make that happen uh, we're trailing badly on XG, so let's uh, demand more and see if we can uh, at least force something worthy of a highlight in our favour. Sibley looks like he's having a poor game, which is uh, not great. And uh, so he's going to be the uh, prime candidate to come off, although Godwin Malif isn't playing well either. So we are really not imposing ourselves on this game. Demand more again. There are so many players who are not playing well. I think actually what I'm going to end up doing is Sibley off at half time because he's playing badly and struggling for fitness. Bristow down the left for Reading. We do finally have something worthy of a highlight. Sibley with the header. It is over the top. Bristow did very well, but uh, Sibley couldn't take advantage. So uh, it remains nil-nil with less than five minutes of the first half left. So let's uh, have a look. Camelo's playing badly again, so this is not good. Williams comes forward, plays it back to Young into Ali Musai, reverses it to Osorio, Valera, lovely ball to Salcedo, Salcedo's ball infield, back to Valera, Osorio has the shot, it isn't close despite what the commentator says, it's well wide, and that is half time, it's nil nil, so I am going to change the entire front three at half time, I think that's what I'm going to do, uh, isn't good enough, absolutely unacceptable. 
So we're going to change the entire front three. Uh, Julian's going to come on for Camelo. Um, Salcedo will be replaced by Josh Martin. Or will he? Uh, in fact, no. Salcedo can now be replaced by Josh Martin. Sibley, I'm not going to be able to replace, I don't think. So we'll have to leave that one. Uh, Sibley's going to stay on. Um, uh, we'll just make the two changes at half time. So we'll go straight into the second half then. Start the, the uh, second half with a demand more. See if we can uh, generate something resembling uh, a noteworthy highlight fairly quickly. We've had many more shots than the uh, the opposition, much less on target. And it's uh, Portsmouth who are uh, in possession. Godwin Malif goes to Collins. There's an absolute scramble in the uh, defence and we've given away a corner we've started shockingly in the second half and it's candido with the corner is headed away and it comes back to whiskers candido doesn't get there we head it away and the highlight comes to an end let's demand more again uh right sibley does need to come off So we're going to have to bring on Andy Yadam and then swap the wingers around again. I think that's the only thing we can do. So Josh Martin can go out on the left wing. Andy Yadam is an improvement at, at right wing, but he's not good. So let's demand more. And um, we have now changed the entire front three. It has improved things, but not dramatically so. We're into the last 15 minutes. I think we're going to hit them with a berate and just try and shock them out of their uh, out of their lacklustre attitude as soon as we can. Tucker with the throw-in. It's played into the middle. Harris with the shot. Luke Harris makes it uh, Reading nil. Portsmouth 1. And that is going to be another defeat. So we're going to berate the entire team and see if that shakes them into uh, to action. It's uh, got some of them motivated, but with only five minutes left, I don't know if there's time for us to do anything about it. Godwin my leave to Yadam, Julian. It's Osorio to Al Ali Musai, Julian to Valera, into Yadam, and the shot is spilt by Norris, the uh, Portsmouth keeper. So we do at least force a corner. Martin will take it. In swinging corner, into the middle, headed away. Bristow should get there and does. Finds Martin on the overlap, back to Williams, and it's cleared away by Tucker. And that surely is going to be the last chance we'll get. Three added minutes signalled. And it very much looks like another defeat. We'll berate them again. Too late. It ends Reading nil. Portsmouth 1. And uh, that is the most disappointing episode we've had for a while. I'll be back in a moment when I'll tell you what uh, we can look forward to on the next episode and show you a rather disappointing looking league table. Okay, those back-to-back -back defeats mean that the league table looks like this. We are still in second place. Uh, we're now seven points adrift of Peterborough and the gap to third place Brighton is down to just two points. So let's have a look at what you can look forward to on the next episode. And I'm going to bring you back at the end of January. 
I will show you back-to-back -back home games against Sheffield Wednesday and Cardiff City and we'll also uh, round up any business we do in the January transfer window so uh, if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me subscribe to my channel for Monday to Friday football manager videos thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye